Hey guys, I've been shooting for almost 8 years now, so I decided to make a video where I can help you understand the basic of first shooting rules. We shouldn't waste any more time, let's just get into it. Number 1. How to hug a first shooter. I know what you have in mind. Oh my gosh, fluffy huge animals, I must hug it! As you may have found out already, that's not how you hug a fursuiter. There is still a fragile little human inside that costume, so be careful, don't crush them please! So, how do you hug a suitor then? Well, not like this guy. No, God, please, no! Nobody can see what's behind them, but fursuiters are even worse. Their vision is very limited, so don't do this please. Okay, you know how to hug a fursuiter, but be careful how long you're hugging one. Twenty minutes later. Also, don't touch any private parts, chest or belly areas. You can tell if they are a she or a he, so petting their chest could lead some very awkward situations. There are fursuits constructed in a different way than others, and when you're sinking, you're rubbing their belly. In reality, you're rubbing their... <laughs> yes. <laughs> Always ask before you do anything. Now let's see a proper hug. Amazing! But don't forget to ask before you do it. Ooh, it's a package! It's a pa- <laughs> This just arrived in the mail! Oh my god, look at him! He's so cute! Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is the cutest Lucario plushie I have actually. Uh, um, anyway, let's continue the video. Number two. Fursuiters have limited vision. Be careful with fursuiters because they have a huge blind spot within their masks these suitors are demonstrating how much they can see in their masks. When they put out their paws, that's the edge of their vision. So, be careful with fursuiters, please. But, number three, be careful in your fursuit. Because of your vision, you cannot see anything smaller than a half meter, and this can happen. You were lucky that wasn't a toddler or a baby. You could get into some real trouble with that. Number four. Hi. <laughs> Please don't take off your fursuit head at Convections. There's a fursuit launch for a reason. Of course, I'm not judging anyone. You can do whatever you want. But it's rude. Also, if you have an emergency or you have overheated, then take the damn thing off. Number five. So, you want to ask for a hug. Fursuiter's vision and sometimes hearing is limited in a mask, so do not shout! But speak up and poke their shoulder gently if they are not facing you. Number 6. Wash your goddamn fursuit! A few moments later... <laughs> no one wants to hug a musky husky. So, if you're at a con, shower at least once a day even if you're not a suitor, if you're a fursuiter. After every fursuiting and dry your fursuit in the lounge. Also, you can use a balaclava. Hang on. These things, these are like ski masks. It sucks up your sweat and your fursuit won't get dirty quickly. Also, there is the disinfectant sprays for the smell. I use these ones. Number seven, don't be creepy. I know it's hard to do. It is your favorite first suitor. You always
always wanted to meet and talk. really uncomfortable so don't do it please number eight tail pulling <laughs> seriously though don't pull the tail it's not funny and you will get in trouble if that happens number nine let's see how you pet a fursuiter Well, not like that. Their fur won't grow back. So be gentle and always ask beforehand. Nom, 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 nom. Number 10. Food and drinks. Number 11. So. You decided to take a picture with the fursuiter. Let's see how you do it. Two hours later. Nope. This was a very silly way to show the opposite. But seriously though, don't ask your grandma or set up your goddamn phone before you do it. This is how you should take a picture with the fursuiter. <laughs> Number 12. Crowds at furry conventions. Guys, don't be assholes. If a fursuiter wants to get somewhere or wants to take the elevator because he wants to go back to his room, because he's dead tired, don't take the elevator before them! If I see you do that, I will call Kage on you and he will eat your souls! Number 13. Dehydrating in fursuits. Fursuits tend to be warm inside. Who am I fucking kidding? They're fucking hot! Give me some freaking water! Much better. Okay, at cons, eat at least three times, even if you're not fursuiting. If you're fursuiting, do the same, but drink a lot of water. I mean a lot. And I said water, not alcohol. If you're not drinking, you will end up collapsing or dying on the floor. Please take this seriously. Oh, and one more thing. If the security sees you like that on the floor and you're not responding, it is their duty to cut you out, uh, not with this, to cut you out of your suit as fast as possible and save your life no matter how expensive your suit is. Your life values more than that. Those were all the tips I could give. If you want to know more, there's a link in the description from Uncle Kage's Your First Furry Convention. They will tell everything you will need to know about fursuiting conventions in a one hour panel. Thanks for watching guys, and now, enjoy the bloopers! I don't know the different tours. Ez téged kéne, hogy elkapjon. Rám lépsz, rád lépek.